I think there are three words uh, that probably best uh, recall this vision of Longchain, which is heritage, continuity and innovation. We have such a rich heritage and whenever we want to write the future, we only have to look back at this heritage, pick up the most iconic innovations that Longchain has done to write the future. most important thing when you arrive in a company like Longines is that you understand that it's not a Longines that has to adapt to me, but I have to adapt to Longines. Longines has proven now for almost 190 years that it's extremely strong brand among all the Swiss watch brands. Uh, it definitely is among the most successful success story in the Swiss watch industry. Our reputation is really based on the quality of our watches. Longines has deep roots in technical innovation because we produced our movements by ourselves. Even the chronographs, the first wristwatch chronograph we produced in 1912. And on the same time, Longines kept always its approach to elegant watches. We have models in our archives that tell incredible stories from our pioneers. We are really inspired by these stories and by these models. We take inspiration from those technical innovations, but we bring them to a nowadays technology in terms of material, in terms of accuracy, and in terms of finishing. So what we did was actually to take this heritage, put it back to present, redesigned a new product inspired by the past, but integrating state-of-the-art technology, like for example this uh, silicon balance spring. And this is exactly the way how we are going to work with Longinos in the future. The day we stop innovating we start killing the brand. So we need to make sure that we always continue to innovate and we should never be self-satisfied enough for having seen that we have already achieved the best, but always try to challenge ourselves to move forward. Longines has a very impressive heritage collection. And there you find some typical models like the Legend Diver, and if you imagine that this watch was developed in 1959, it's amazing that it looks still quite modern with its sober look. You have also the navigation Big Eye, which draws its inspiration from the older pilot's chronograph, or you find in our heritage collections some special chronographs that are linked to the 30s and 40s and we continue to develop this collection below the dial. We wanted to achieve a fresh and trendy execution on our really historical legendary piece. We executed a nice gradient blue color on the dial and going black on the outer part. But we kept the beige, so the old radium superluminova on it. Regarding interesting details on our watches, I will take the example of uh, our navigation big eye. The counter at 3 o'clock is bigger than the other one. Back in the day, these design features was for the readability of the pilot. So we've made, uh, obviously, the watch bigger and the counter even bigger to increase this difference in proportions. So the nickname of the watch is really linked to the function that is linked to the design. The P 
pillars uh, between Longin and uh, the human relationship was uh, that uh, we always had the perfect solution for the pioneers exploring the sky, the sea, the land with our extremely precise and reliable timepieces. Today we are able to provide to people in the most elegant way their passion and the rest. The reason why Longin uh, became such a strong brand uh, is because it always paid a lot of attention between the human and the industrial factor. The handworking of our employees is really important. It's a really relevant part of the process because we cannot achieve the level of finishing of our watches only by machines. All this know-how, this experience is something really incredible that we have in-house and we want to preserve this and obviously it gives a little touch of timeless feeling on our watches. Longines was always collaborating very tightly with pioneers and one of these pioneers was the female pilot Amelia Earhart, the first woman that crossed the Atlantic solo in a plane. And when she said everyone has his ocean to fly, she meant that everyone has a dream in his life and it's worth to accomplish, to try to accomplish this dream. And as a matter of fact, Longines helped with its equipment to realize those dreams.